You're watching RT International live from Moscow with me, Nadira Tudor. Welcome to the program. The Turkish president has made his most severe allegation yet against the US government, accusing Washington and its allies of supporting terrorist groups in Syria. Tayyip Erdogan was speaking to reporters in Ankara on Tuesday. In the beginning, the coalition... RT's Caleb Morpin has been following the State Department's reaction to the claims from President Erdogan. Mark Toner, spokesperson, exists. Meanwhile, speaking in an exclusive interview with RT, Iran's defense minister also suggested that the U.S. is not fully committed to defeating terrorists in Syria. <laughs> Seven refugees have been arrested in Berlin on suspicious, uh, sus suspicion of setting fire to a homeless man or on Christmas Eve at a metro station. The victim survived after passers-by helped to extinguish the flames and police are treating the incident as an attempted murder. RT's Peter Oliver reports from the German capital. Please help. The leader of the UK's Liberal Democrat Party, Tim Farron, has encouraged Britain to accept more child refugees. He delivered his Christmas video message from an, uh, an asylum centre in Paris, but it didn't quite get the reaction he had hoped for. Well, it's then. Since the start of Europe's migrant crisis, Germany has taken in by far the largest number of refugees. We discussed the situation and the security concerns in the country with the founder of the Alliance of German Democrats and also with a member of the Alternative for Germany party. It is a new low at the... The Israeli government says it has proof that the Obama administration was behind a recent UN Security Council resolution calling for an end to Israeli settlement expansion. The Israeli ambassador to Washington condemned the move. The United States was... The resolution was passed on Friday calling Israeli settlements in the West Bank and East Jerusalem a flagrant violation of international law. The United States abstained from the Security Council vote, allowing it to pass, abandoning its usual practice of vetoing resolutions that condemn Israel. The incident is the latest setback in an increasingly tense relationship between President Obama and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Artis Polislea has more on Israel's reaction. It's fair to say that Prime Minister Netanyahu is... Gershon Baskin, founder of Israel-Palestine Creative Regional Initiatives, told us that Israel is hoping for a dramatic change of policy from the next U.S. administration. The Obama administration is finished on the 20th of Bond. Investigators are starting to examine one of the flight data recorders salvaged from the wreckage of a Russian plane that fell into the Black Sea on Sunday, killing all 92 people on board. The black box is not seriously... <laughs> Investigators are considering several versions as to what may have brought down the plane. Artis Ilya Petrenko reports from Sochi. A man from... Uh... A video showing a driver deliberately running over a bear has caused shockwaves in Russia. You may find the footage of the incident upsetting. Animal rights activist Mimi Bakechi gave us her view on that video. She believes that people who indulge in such behaviour pose a grave threat to society. It's behaviour worrying uh, thing. Stay with us for Crosstalk, looking back at some of the most dramatic global events of 2016.